it's been a slow week for MCC as the NOS crew are really really busy watching the application videos. So let's give you a little bit of some sneak peek for where are they now. Welcome to your 8th weekly drop here on MCC Live Show. It's again, it's been somewhat a slow week for when it comes to news and everything, as well, Nox crew are very busy watching it, the application videos and literally have no time to, you know, you know, announce some things and all that kind of stuff. So, instead, we can have a treat for you when it comes to MCC Live Show. So, yeah, stick around. So, as you know, the where are they now? Episodes the Where Day Now series kick off on Tuesday, and it was there was no interviews on the Tuesdays, the last Tuesdays one for Pink Parrots. But I've done some interviews for some of the upcoming Where Day Now episodes. So here's a little bit of sneak peek for some of the interviews featured. During I think one of the best moments from your team was meltdown. <laughs> In where you win a round of meltdown, I do. how do you feel during that time? It was actually shocking because meltdown was a game we weren't expecting to play, so we didn't really practice for it. And then I just got in the middle and Kalina killed the the other person who was with me. And then I was just like collecting gold, and then everyone suddenly died, and I was like, wait. Did I win? <laughs> it, was, it was crazy, but it felt really good. And I think I have to do a really good shout out to Kalolinda because I think she was the one who killed uh, two players who were around me. So probably I was able to win that, that round because of her. And it was really, really nice. <laughs> um, if any of the Lysing Tree participants are watching this video right now, do you have any advices for them? Don't do too much ace race on the practice server. I know it's a it's a trap. <laughs> I will tell you now, it's a trap. Do a couple of courses, do a couple of runs every now and then a, a day, just so you get the mechanics done. Don't go and get carpool tunnel for ace race, okay? Try not to get that done. You can do a parkour course so you at least get better at the jumps. Do some MCCI, but don't spend like eight hours, go to bed, then wake up and do more ace race. Getting that 0.1 extra second is not going to be worth it in the long run. I can guarantee you that much. I did just fine. I am a common plebeian. I've got like eight or something. I did like, you know, a couple of runs of that. I was not on the leaderboards. I did just fine. I am not known as Mr. Minecraft and I did okay. You'll be fine too. You don't need to be the ace racer. Unless you want to get some player farming, in which case, go ahead. Go nuts. I'm, I'm not your dad. Go ahead. <laughs> Out of all of those events I mentioned earlier, um, what is your favorite? You can name multiple if you want oh, to. Oh god. Okay, this is gonna be so difficult. Minecraft Mayhem Factory Frenzy. I oh. love that game. With all of my heart. I've never been so excited about a build game. Like, it might be um, Build Mart for me. Like, it's actually just so cool. Being a part of the, um, like, kind of first ever event for Jack Cast Game Nights Novus. That was awesome. I didn't, that was my first ever Jackass Game Nights too, which was crazy to me that like I got to be a part of that kind of roster and still play. It was so much fun. And big kudos to Jack too for running that because he ran that phenomenally. And Johnny for those games, he did so well. Um, Block Wars Origins, absolutely getting that invite was still one of the craziest days of my life. And like just getting to play those kinds of games were so much fun. Um, and then I have to shout out Fruity Wars too because essentially, um, I was in the UK when that event came around, and Rice and I were playing on the same account and just spinning a wheel whenever, like, to figure out who was going to be playing what game. And individually, we came ninth, and that is the best I have ever done individually. <laughs> and I don't think I'm ever going to do better, and I think that, that has to be forever a peak moment to know that, like, oh yeah, me and my partner teamed up and crushed it accidentally. It was so fun. So yeah, those are just, it's just the little moments that really make it for me. They're so great. After the Venice Bowl, um, you have also participated in 24-hour SMP. What's your best memory or moment from that SMP alone? 
it was a really good time and then it was like so much footage i was planning on turning it into a video uh, but it was it was like 20 hours of footage and i just oh, yeah. got so burnt out on it um it was it was very fun though i think the funniest memory i have of that i was I was still at my keyboard, but I was doing like the AFK thing that everybody else had been doing, and I was spinning in a minecart because that was one of the one of the achievements that that you could or like one of the achievements was to go like a certain distance in a minecart, um, and if you did it enough, like you would if you got the achievement, you would get a bunch of extra points. You could get on the leaderboard, right? So I was sitting in the minecart spinning, and I was just eating corn dogs and in the middle of my face, <laughs> and, and I was just talking to people as they were like walking in and out because somehow my base became like a hub for like six people and so they were just coming in and out and I'm just spinning in the minecart in the corn dogs. Last adventure you have played, Pandora's Box 14A. What happened? Oh my god. I, 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 oh my god, my last three events in general have been rough. Like, I'll, I mean, I'll be real, my placements have not been great. My placements have not been great recently, but I've been having fun. I've been I having mean, fun. I mean, you got rolled by weight box. Like, okay, I listen, I need to, I need, okay, I need to address this. The only reason that that happened is because I was trying to be a good friend and it's never happening again. Because <laughs> he was standing still. He was standing still. So I went up, I crit him once, and then he was still standing still. So I was like, oh, is he like crashing? Or is like, are, is he on a loading? Is he on like a Mojang loading screen or something? And then by the time that that process goes through my brain, he has P crit me and I'm dead. Who taught Weedbox how to P crit? The man doesn't know how to work a, a normal one block jump. Who taught him that? I don't know. I didn't. That wasn't me. I didn't do that. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, I think that by far is my lowest point in any event ever. But you know what? Good for Wade. I'm glad he could get a good clip out of it. <laughs>So it's time now to recap the events that will be happening this weekend. And first of all, we're gonna say the we're gonna just mention the elephant in the room. Bug Wars 11 is happening well at 7 p.m. PST, so that's four hours after this video is released, and it features two new games: one that involves dungeon exploring and one that is literally Valorant. So, yes, expect how the teams would do in that event. Yeah, watch them at 7 p.m. And same time as well, we have Blissful Championships Affinity 17. And this is the first event of their split. So be sure to watch them, of course, as well as on Sunday with the private event. And totally, they do not have a cult like at towards the end. Like, like surely, yeah. We got two, you know, new quote, quote unquote new faces. One is returning, Chamber Trials 2, two hours from now at 5 p.m. BST. So be sure to watch that and Retro Rumble at 4 p.m. BST on Sunday. So that's Shampoo Trials 2 on Saturday at 5 and Retro Rumble at on Sunday at 4. So be sure to watch all those events and you know, watch the VODs, watch it live. Because yeah, it will be fun indeed to watch all those pers perspectives. That's it. For your good old weekly drop, yes, again, it has been a very much a slow news week. There's not too much MCC news, but hopefully next week we could get some good old news and such. Otherwise, though, maybe some more sneak peeks. Why not? You know, just to fill up a little bit of time. But yeah, that's all for me here. And yeah, I'll see you next Saturday for your next weekly drop. I'll see you guys.